The sport of drag racing produces the fastest cars on the planet, and high speed equals high risk. So when it goes wrong, it goes very wrong. So strap in as we take you through the worst drag racing crashes ever. First up is definitely one of the most terrifying crashes that we have ever seen. Jim Reed didn't make it far down the strip before disaster struck. His car started to wobble and he quickly lost control, hitting the slippery grass on the side. His car was flung across the track and he started bouncing uncontrollably towards the wall on the other side. The barrier wasn't enough to keep Reed's car inside the track, and it got launched straight over it, instantly flipping over into a massive barrel roll. But the worst part came when Reed smashed into a 40-foot metal billboard sign at an unbelievable speed, instantly destroying his car. Slewed out of control and snapped a 40-centimeter thick concrete pole as it burst into flames. Flames erupted and the cockpit was torn apart from the rest of the car, sending Reed tumbling down the grass on fire. He was lucky to be alive after this utterly insane incident. Another driver who knows a thing or two about rolling drag cars is Jerry Caminito. He darted off the line and was having a great run, but right at the very end, his luck switched. Caminito lost control of his car and was sent headfirst towards the metal armco barrier. As soon as he hit it, his car erupted into flames and split into a million pieces, as if a bomb had gone off inside. The cockpit that Caminito was sitting in got tossed over the wall and instantly started rolling, all while traveling at over 200 miles per hour. His blue thunder nitro funny car crashes head on into the guard wall. He took a nasty series of hits off the ground and was subjected to a horrible impact right at the end, in one of the worst drag racing crashes ever. Now, do you think you've seen some bad crashes involving Corvettes? Well, think again, because what you're about to see is the biggest Corvette crash ever. He completely lost control of his Corvette. It got sideways on him in a big way and aimed him directly towards the unforgiving concrete wall. The car went airborne and had a massive hit with the wall, instantly smashing up his car and flipping him over the wall. The car started to wildly turn and roll in every way imaginable, and he made horrible impacts with the ground as the car got more and more smashed up with every hit. Oh, Sydney got some oh, oh, hang on there, Sydney Frigo. Into the wall, top end, over and over, and a wild one there. Sydney moving around. It was definitely one of the scariest crashes in recent history. And if you're enjoying these wild wrecks, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more motorsports content just like this. With that being said, let's check out the time when Tim Gross cheated death. He had just shut out of the gates in the 1980 Spring Nationals when he was taken for a very scary ride. His car became too much for him as it became unstable going down the track, throwing him off course completely. And once he went sideways, it was the beginning of the end. He crashed so hard into the Armco barrier that it bent his car straight down the middle and fired him towards the other fence for even more punishment. The second hit was the biggest, with the car going straight over the fence and breaking up on impact. The cockpit that Gross was sitting in began rolling down the track at crazy speed and broke into a huge ball of fire almost instantly. It was left battered up, tangled in the fence and on fire as Gross fought for his life to escape the wreck. And when it comes to barrel rolls, it doesn't get much crazier than this one. Ronnie Sox was giving it his all when his car suddenly leaked oil onto the track, and then he ran over it himself. It caused him to completely lose control of his car, step out, and almost hit the wall hard. The car rolled over, and due to the massive speed he was carrying, he had the craziest sequence of barrel rolls ever seen rolling an unbelievable 13 times. To make things worse, the engine then burst into flames and his car was completely destroyed. And if we're talking about completely destroying cars, we have to mention Antron Brown's insane crash in Atlanta in 2014. When you step into a car that can travel at well over 300 miles per hour, 
Yes, 300. It's fair to say that you're taking a bit of a risk. And in 2014, Antron Brown's worst nightmare came true. Near the end of his run when he was at top speed, the rear of his car failed without warning. With zero chance to react, he was fired straight into the concrete wall and his car instantly blew up, knocking off almost every part possible and wrecking the chassis. The car slid across the track and into the other wall, with a spectacular string of sparks flying from the car. Wow, kaboom! Oh, an Antron! Big time crash top into the racetrack. Spectators watched on in disbelief, fearing the worst after this horrific smash. Another driver who escaped death was Mark Talaferro in 2014. He was racing his powerful top alcohol dragster and had a very scary moment. While he was trying to put his crazy amount of horsepower down onto the track, the car broke away from him in the biggest way possible. He flew out of control straight towards the wall and smashed it head on. The car instantly bent and broke into pieces and erupted into a fireball. It rolled up the track and was shredded apart by the wall, all while Talaferro was still inside. When the car finally came to a rest, there was debris everywhere, and safety workers hurried to rescue Talaferro from the mangled metal. Now let's take a trip over to England, where spectators visit Santa Pod Raceway to see action, high speeds, and crazy passes. And on this day in 1990, they saw a horrific crash. Daryl Gwynn was racing his top fuel car, and it seemed to be going smoothly until tragedy struck just before the finish line. When it veered to the left and hammered the wall, the car's frame split instantly and struck a guardrail. It then burst into flames and slid down the track, with Gwyn's left arm pinned underneath. As a result, Gwyn was tragically paralyzed from the chest down, and doctors were unable to save the lower part of his left arm. During the opening round of eliminators at the Lucas Oil NHRA Nationals, Doug Gordon had one of the most frightening moments a drag racer could imagine. The 2020 NHRA Top Alcohol Funny Car World Champion was driving his Camaro and lost the race by the slightest of margins. But losing the race wasn't the worst thing that happened to him. Just as he crossed the finish line, his car made a hard left turn and flipped instantly. It smashed into the retaining wall hard and was torn to pieces. It slid down the track, with the bodywork completely ripped from the car and Gordon still in sight, in one of the scariest moments in recent memory. And look at that, up on its side, upside down and into the wall, down there riding on top of the, of the wall. Talking about scary moments, drag racing crashes don't get more violent than this one. Bruce Allen and Kenny Koretsky collided during their qualifying pass, and it made for perhaps the most spectacular crash that turned everyone in the grandstand silent. Allen lost control of his car, and it swerved across the track, straight into the path of Koretsky. With nowhere to go, Koretsky drove straight into him at full speed. The impact split Allen's car in half. The cars exploded and Alan's engine was smashed into pieces, with debris from both cars flying everywhere and flames bursting from the scene of the wild accident. Another wild accident unfolded for driver Leah Pruitt as she piloted her top fuel dragster in the 2020 Midwest Nationals. When accelerating with over 10,000 brake horsepower, she was halfway down the strip. Out of nowhere, her car literally split in two while traveling in a straight line. With Leah having zero control over the car, it flipped into the air and spun landing hard back onto the racetrack with parts flying everywhere. It's not often that cars just decide to split in two and disintegrate, making this crash one for the ages. Another uncommon occurrence is when two drag cars collide with each other, but that's exactly what happened in Phoenix in 2018. While qualifying for the Arizona Nationals, Johnny Lindbergh and John Force 
had just finished their race when out of nowhere, John Force's car decided to blow up crossing the finish line. It instantly blew all the bodywork off and Force was left exposed in the cockpit. It veered across and hit the wall hard, putting him straight into the path of Lindbergh. The two of them collided and their cars were tangled together, and then both of them crashed twice at the exact same time. It is known as one of the strangest and wildest crashes in history. And our last crash is perhaps the most spectacular on the whole list. Driver Stevie Fast didn't think he'd be taking flight when he lined up for his run at No Mercy in 2016. But his car had other ideas. He got a great launch, but maybe it was too good, because almost instantly, his car popped a wheelie, and without a wheelie bar on these cars, it headed towards the sky. The car went completely vertical, twisted in the air, and hit the concrete wall hard. It smashed back onto the track and skated across the strip breaking up as it slid on its roof. Fast was never as glad to be back on the ground after this wild flight. So there we have it, smashed up cars, fireballs, cars colliding and even taking flight. These were the worst drag racing crashes in history. Please leave a comment and let us know which crash you thought was the worst and tell us if we missed any. Please smash the like button and subscribe for more motorsports content. This has been Racers Reverie. See you in the next video.